Getting set to go with the second half of the Juniata basketball game, the junior varsity uh, variety. It's uh, the uh, Newport, rather. Up and off at Newport, second half just underway. The Trojans lead 13-6 here at the halftime. So very low, low scoring game. Sounds like a football score. Anyway, the junior varsity here from uh, Upper Dolphin, of course, we know most of these guys, but the uh, Newportians, we uh, wouldn't, wouldn't have their names. Anyway, here's a shot put up there by uh, Wirt, and that's knocked out of there. But we'll try to catch up with these guys here now as uh, the second half unwinds. Here's a shot from the side for two. No good. Rebound on the far side controlled by UD. Back out here for Leitzel. She puts a shot up. No good. And the rebound comes down to Newport. And they'll start her back up court. Quick pass underneath. We got a girl all alone under there, but she missed the shot. Rebound comes down here to uh, New or Newport. Has it down on the steal. And a whole lot of grabbing at it at the top of the circle. 13 steps up with a 15-foot shot that's short. And on the rebound, Newport has it and hold everything. A foul called underneath. So foul be on UDA. Okay, now they'll try to inbound the ball here following that uh, play. But here comes a steal. And back with it comes Drivelbiss, I think this is. Puts a shot up, no good. Return shot won't go. Return again by 41, that won't go, and a rebound comes down to Newport. So it's still a 13-6 ball game. Here's a dump inside in the paint. She walked with it, and it'll be UDA, but the ball will inbound the ball for the Trojans. Gets it in here for Leitzel. And uh, Hillary. Looking out in front now. She'll put it on the wing there for Weaver. She tries to pop it inside, but it's stole away by that 50. And then it's tied up in there, and a hold will be called. I think Hillary might have, or uh, Light, uh, Weaver may have picked up the personal foul. Mm -hmm. There's a ball tapped out of there on a good play by UDA. It will remain a Newport ball, or let's see who did lose it. Oh, well, they're not sure. No one's going for it. And it's going to be off Newport. No, it'll, yeah. Newport's going to get the ball to play. I'm not sure. The kids don't know what's going on. I certainly don't. <laughs> anyway, here's an inbounds pass. Going to come out here for Newport. She's breaking back with a girl back there. Tries to dump it inside to her, but that's going to be picked off. And UD coming back with it. Hillary looking for a Weaver all over on the left baseline. She puts a shot up. No good. Rebound's going to be coming back here. Newport breaking back one on one. Two Trojans getting back quickly, though, and it's going to be a foul call. As the Trojan gals got back there and uh, prevented her from putting the shot up, but 13 will go the line, and she'll be shooting two. Okay, young Newport gal shooting two, and her first shot is no good. Foul was on uh, Weaver. She picked up her fourth here with 4.57 left in the uh, third period. So she checked out of the ball game and uh, second shot by Newport is good. In the meantime, uh, Jade uh, Mailhorn checked back in to replace Weaver. Here's a ball tied up over here as they go on the floor right inside of our brand new Trojan. All right. Pinder right there. Anyway, uh, Mailhorn will inbound the ball for UD. Here for Drive Abyss. Ahead she comes down to Rudisil. Rudisil takes it across the timeline, dumps it on the baseline. Inside it goes for that 41 gal, and she missed the shot. And back with it come the Newport. It's 13-7. There's been one point scored here in the third quarter. There's a shot missed, and let's see. They tie it up underneath the Newport bucket, and it will be, uh, let's see, Newport to inbound the ball. Rudisil a little shaken up maybe on that play. I guess she's going to be okay. She's going to come out of the game. It looks like she might have hurt her foot or instep, something like that. She'll check out, and um, 35 in there for Newport, or for the uh, Trojans. 35 is that Danielle Lentz. She's into the ball game now for Upper Dauphin. Whoops, good. Nope, a foul. Oh, looked like she had all ball. But uh, Drabblebiss will pick up a foul. Holding foul. And for her, 
It will be her um, second. There's the inbound pass near Steele on it. 35 pumps a shot up. No good. Rebound underneath there to Newport. She throws it over the back uh, bucket. No good. And a pushing foul will be called on Lentz. So Danielle will pick up a foul. Ball set, kind of stuck down here at this end right now as uh, team picking up some personals. Score still 13-7. Here's 13 with a 15-foot shot. It's good. It's 13-9 now. Newport climbs to within four. Oh, here's a reach-in foul on that number 35. She is charged with a push as she pushed off Hillary Leitzel. And that'll be non-shooting, but UD will inbound the ball over in the side. Right over here. Timeout called by Newport. We have 4-12 remaining in the third quarter. It's 13-9 Upper Dolphin. Karen Dravobis will inbound the ball following the Newport timeout now as we get it going. Here in the third, here's Hillary Leitzel forcing her way upstream. Goes right into the paint, puts a 12-footer up. That is good. Okay, Hillary going all the way with that one. Makes it a 15-9 ball game with just under four minutes to play in the third. There's a dump over in the right wing. Young gal goes in there, tries to throw one off the glass. It wouldn't go. 35 with a rebound in the paint. Struggles it back here. Leitzel tips it away, however, and back with it come the Trojans. Hillary playing some good defense that time. Throws it out of the hands of Lentz. And it will be Newport to inbound the ball. Oh, looks like a little walk out there. No call. Anyway, um, on the right side. Now they dump it inside here, but tipped away nicely in there by that Hillary or by that uh, Lentz that time. Uh, she got a hand on it, knocked it out of there. Swab checks into the ball game for UDA. She will replay Shade. Here's Jade Mailhorn working it down the left wing side across the timeline. She goes, pushes it into the wing there for. Uh, Swab now back out to Mailhorn. Her shot is no good and a pushing foul underneath. Foul will be on UDA's number 35. That's on Danielle Lentz. So, Danielle uh, <laughs> again, we got herself fouled out here if she's not careful. Just picked up two quick ones. And uh, for Danielle, only her second. Newport's going to try to work it down the right side. Forces a shot up. It's partially blocked. Picked off in there by uh, Dribovis, and she's coming back with it. Karen with a bounce pass on the baseline over here for Lance, but it goes off. Danielle's fingertips and out of bounds, and it will be Newport ball. Newport's going to try to do something to solve this Trojan defense, but that won't work because Danielle Lentz picked it off, and now she is fouled this time. Danielle with a good defensive move in there to pick off that basketball, and then she was hacked as she headed up court with it. So it will be none shooting foul, and uh, Dribovis will inbound the ball for the Trojans. For Hillary Lentz, or for Hillary, Hillary uh, Leitzel, rather. And Hillary's got it. Mailhorn over on the left side, and now back to Hillary. In the baseline, they fire it, but it's going to go out of bounds on the pass, and it will be Newport ball. 2.41 left here. The Trojans have scored two. Newport has scored three here in the third period. It was 13-6 at halftime. It's now 15-9. Who lost the handle momentarily. Over on the right side she goes. Now into the baseline. Oh, wait a minute. That could be a blocking foul, and it is. Blocking foul will be called in there on uh, Cummins, who is into the ballgame. Picked up her first, and that put the bonus into play for Newport. And her first shot, she wobbled home. It's now 15-10. And 45 will look for... 
Another one to close the gap to a four-point lead. Here it is, and it's no good. Spins around inside there, picked up by Newport underneath. She dishes it to her buddy over there on the right baseline, and she put it in for two. And it's now 14-12 ball game. 42 will pick up a reach-in foul as she reached into Hillary Leitzel and caught Hillary on the side of the head with that reach that time. Kind of punched Hillary out that time. Hillary shaking it off. No, she's okay. She has two eyes. She doesn't need that other one. <laughs> Here she comes, roaring down the right side, and she's going to be bumped out of bounds as 42 picks up her second foul on Hillary. Her and Hillary doing battle out here. Hillary's bounced into the bleachers that time, and another non-shooting foul. Well, now Hillary has a bruised hip to go along with her black eye. <laughs> anyway, Jade Milhorn will inbound the ball for Upper Dauphin. If Hillary can complete something without getting destroyed out here. Now here she goes over to Mailhorn. Now into the side there for Cummins. Back outside for Mailhorn. Jade looking around. Has it out here for Hillary Leitzel. Hillary over there for Mailhorn. Mailhorn on the left baseline. Puts a shot up a little bit long. And a foul will be called underneath. Got a push off on the rebound. And the foul this time I think might be on number 24. It is. And that's that drive of this. And... Uh, She's going to send a new port into the line, shooting a one and one. Babovis picks up her third personal with 201 left here in the third. First shot is good. It's now 15 13. It is a two point ball game. Checking back into the ball game for UDA is number 31, and that might be that uh, Zerby to find out here in a second as soon as this cow makes this shot. And here's her second attempt. It is good. And we have a one-point ball game now. It's 15-14, UDA by one. On the inbound pass, 45 will pick up a foul. She knocked the ball out of there. And she picked up the personal. UD again trying to inbound the ball. The Mailhorn will inbound it here for Upper Dauphin. Does so over here now, and Hillary Lights are coming back with it. Minute 55 left in the third. Hillary dumps it inside there. Shot by uh, Swab wouldn't go. Oh, and they're going to call a foul underneath. And the foul will be a holding one on UDA. It was on Jade Mailhorn. She picked up her first. First shot to tie the game up, and it's good. We're tied at 15 all. 33 for Newport. Puts in her first attempt. All tied up 33, or 15 all. And here's her second shot, and it is no good. Spins out of there, Newport with a rebound, and a good tie up that time. It will be UDA ball. Good job tying that ball up in there. I think it was Jade Mailhorn making the tie up that time. Newport had the uh, rebound, but Jade captured that ball right away and tied it up for UDA. Free substitutions here all the time for both these ball clubs. Newport now sending a new squad into the ball game as Zerby will inbound the ball for UDA. Right here for Mailhorn. Ooh, Jade had to pick up that dribble as it was high. And back comes uh, Leitzel. Quick pass up here now for Zerby. Zerby working it down the right side. Back outside it comes here, knocked out of there. As is <laughs> Hillary Leitzel again by that number 35 this time. Really gave it a shot, knocked the ball out, almost knocked Hillary out. Okay, here's Hillary with it again. Dumps it inside here. Turn around by uh, uh, Swab is no good, and it's going to go out of bounds off UD. And that's going to give Newport a chance to come back and take the lead, perhaps for the first time in the ball game, as it was 13-6 uh, at halftime, so I don't believe they probably ever led and missed the first half. Here's 35 looking for two, no good. Rebound on the far side, controlled by 35. And she'll drop it back out front here now. 13 with it, puts it over in the right wing. And... They're going to call a foul on Cummins, I believe. Yep, Corrine Cummins is going to pick up a foul. She is going to depart as uh, 41 back into the ball game for UDA. Is that Heidi Boyer? 50 puts her first shot up. No good. Rebound. Let's see. Comes down here. Newport controls it on the baseline. Over 
throw in the wing. They go to that 50. Oh, she puts the shot up. It is no good. Rebound comes down, and that's going to be short. Swab finally grabs it, and 22 grabs her. And that will be a foul. And let's see. That will be none shooting. Six-team foul with uh, one minute remaining here in the third quarter. And Zerby will inbound the ball for UDA. Bounces it here for Leitzel. And Leitzel starting it up, breaking out between two uh, Buffaloes. Has it down here for uh, pass over there for Zerby. Now outside it goes Mailhorn looking for two in and out. It's spun no good. Rebound comes right down here to Newport. And back with it they come. 13 looking for some help. Gets it from 35. Now back over to 13. Over to the right side, looking for two, no good. And the rebound comes down here to Zerby. She'll clear it back here with 30 seconds remaining in the third. Leitzel will take it up court. UDA looking to untie the ball game if they can. Into the corner it goes. Whoop, wait a minute. This time Jade, who went to put the shot up, took a walk first. Oh, that gives Newport the opportunity with 214, or with 14. Uh, no, 21 seconds remaining. Here's 13. Near wing over here, 35, puts a shot off the glass, no good. Return comes down there and it's gonna be fought for on the baseline. Rolls out of bounds off Mailhorn. So it will be Newport ball. 5-0 will inbound the ball for Newport, the Buffaloettes. Bounces it over there on the right wing. Now outside here for 35. She steps up, puts a shot up, swab with a big deflection that time. And back with it comes Mailhorn with one point something seconds, it's good. Jade Mailhorn fired one up right at the buzzer to end the third quarter and give the Trojans a lead going into the uh, fourth and final period. Nice shot by Jade high off the glass and put it right in there. 17-15 UDA by two with seven minutes to play in the ball game. Okay, good job. Okay, Newport will inbound the ball to begin the fourth and uh, most likely the final period. Here in the junior varsity ball game. Oop, ball knocked away there, but gathered back in by Newport. Shot from the side over there, no good. Rebound comes down here, and it's going to be picked up by Leitzel. And then they're going to call 24 with a hold. And that's going to give UD a chance to shoot a one and one. As going to the foul line will be Hillary Leitzel. Shooting a one and one. She's checking her arm now to go along with her black eye and her broken leg as she has an arm problem. <laughs> anyway, she was slapped that time and she'll be shooting a one and one She can give UD at least a three or perhaps a four point margin if she can hit the first one here. Here is her first try. And it looks a little short and it was. Ball hustled after her though and brought back outside here. Nice bounce pass over here and they go back outside for Leitzel. Over the wing it goes. Kareen fires it back over this way. It's going to be picked off back here by Dribovis. Gets it back over there for Leitzel. Dribovis is on the right side over here. She has it now. Now back to Leitzel. Here's a bounce on the baseline down here for Shade, I think it is. Ball rolls off the fingertips inside. Newport coming back with it. Puts it up and it won't go in. Rebound tapped around inside there and controlled by Shade. She'll look up court, fires it up there for Lentz, but it's going to go out of bounds as uh, Danielle had no chance on that one. Gwen Shades pass eluding uh, Danielle by a couple of feet that time, so she had no chance to get that one. Oh, UD trying to slow it down and get back in gear here now. Bounces it over there on the wing, stolen away nicely, back with it come the Trojans. Here is a pass near side over here, shot by Lentz is good. So Danielle Lentz gets two and makes it a 19-15 ball game. Here's a shot from 17 feet out, no good. Rebound comes right down there to 50. Here she has it stolen away. A good play in here by 45 who drops it back here for Leitzel. Leitzel looking for two, it's good. 45 is that Amber Daniels and she just made a fine defensive play on the other end of the court. And then a quick outlet pass for Hillary Leitzel. Nice play by Danielle. Oop, little bit of a walk. Shot didn't go anyway, but uh, she walked first. 
I'm out called by the Trojans. It is 21-15 with 5.23 left in the game. Okay, UD puts the ball back in play. Over here for Daniels. Daniels will drop it back for Leitzel. Off Hillary's fingertips and out of bounds it goes. So it'll be a Newport ball. 5.19 remaining in the ball game. UDA up now by six. Here's 45, sets one up for two. Looked like good, but it wouldn't go down. Rebound down here to that uh, young shade gal. And back here comes Leitzel. Hillary taking her time outside here. Fires it across there for Dribblebiss. Dribblebiss on the wing over here. And now dribbling up, putting a shot up being good as Daniels. Good shot that time by that young Daniels gal. Put her home very nicely. Here's 33, dropping it off the leg of Daniels, but right out to a Newport. Newport puts a shot up, no good. Rebound down here for Dribblebiss. She'll drop it back here for Leitzel. It's 23-15 now. UDA looking better at the moment now. Here's a pass on the wing over there. It goes for, uh, whoops, wait a minute, spun away. Ball tapped back out of there now, and they're gonna say that Hillary picks up a personal foul. She reached in. That'll be a shooting foul. Both teams in the bonus. Newport will go to the line shooting a one and one. And this time it's going to be Newport number 33. Leitzel picked up just her second personal foul with 428 left in the ball game. So no problems there. First shot by 33 is good. Second shot by number 33 of Newport is in and out. Spins no good. Rebound comes down there to UD and they're going to be tied up in there they say. Uh, Shade came down with it, and she was tied up by number 45, but the ball goes over to uh, Upper Dolphin anyway. So Dribblebiss inbounds it here for uh, oh, Daniels. Oh, she walked and knew it. No call. <laughs> you can see by the look at her face. No call. <laughs> anyway, referee's a little more lenient perhaps in junior varsity basketball. At least they got away with one there. Here's Shade trace it, chasing one down on the baseline. Uh, looking to get, uh, wait a minute, she's going to say she walked with it as Gwen got all tied up with it that time and Tidal went for a walk. 4.08 left. April Weaver back into the ball game for UDA. She replaced uh, Daniels. Here's a baseline shot for two. In and out, that spun, no good. Rebound comes down, however, and a ball tipped away. 43 has it blocked. And then they, uh, they're they gonna say she was fouled in there by uh, Lentz. And Danielle picks up a uh, personal, her third. And 45, or 43 will be at the line shooting two. Now we'll see what kind of a foul shooter this young lady is. Her first shot, short. Rebound comes right back over there to that Weaver gal. She's in trouble, but now she gets out of it as she spins it off there to Shade. Shade working around the near wing over here for Leitzel. Leitzel tries to pop it inside there for Lentz. Lentz grabs it, gets it over there for Weaver. Weaver dumps it right inside there. Shade for two, wouldn't go. Rebound underneath, popped out of there, off the hands of UDA. And it will be Newport ball with three minutes, 33 seconds remaining in the ball game. Stom, Robin Stom into the ball game now for the UDA. Three and a half minutes left here in the ball game. 35 sets one up, no good. Rebound comes down to Stom, who just got into the ball game. Robin gets herself a rebound. The ball came loose, however, inside there and back with it. Comes 45 for two, no good. Rebound still. Pushed around inside there. Leitzel, I think, might have tapped it out of bounds. Yeah, it's going to stay down here. Hillary coming out of that pile that time, putting that strong tap on it, knock it out of there. And here's 33. Over the wing they go. Now deep into the corner. Now inside on a nice play, but shot didn't go. Ball loose, and Drival Biss grabs it right on the baseline, spins it outside here for Leitzel, and Leitzel will try to work it back right now as they finally got control of it. Look like a grease pig out there. And Hillary finally coming up with it. Over here for Dribblebiss. She's bumped on the baselines. Tries to struggle one up from underneath. But a holding foul somewhere. And Karen Dribblebiss will go to the line. Shooting uh, two, I believe. Yep, she's going to be shooting two. And timeout will be called, I think, 
by Newport with 2.45 left in the ball game. They're trailing the Upper Dolphin Trojans by seven. Following the timeout now, Karen Dravovis standing at the line, getting ready to shoot her first of two. And her first shot is no good. See if Karen can get 50% of these. Her second shot is no good either. And let's see, the ball's gonna be controlled by Newport. UD with that seven point margin. Now two minutes, 35 seconds left here in the ball game. Over in the right wing goes to 50. That's her place to shoot from, but uh, whoa, wait a minute. She does a split instead and goes for a walk and time out now, she may have hurt herself. No, she says that'll heal. <laughs> okay, anyway, it will be Upper Dolphin to inbound the ball as Fabobis will get a chance to inbound it here for UD for Shade. Gwen with a head of steam, pumping it ahead here now for let's see who's gonna get it. Newport got it, and 22. Wow, near walk, but she made it over the wing. There's that 50 for that shot, wouldn't go. Rebound comes down in there, and let's see, it'll be Weaver picking it off for UD. And back come these Trojanettes. Hillary Leitzel working it down the right side, right on the baseline, she goes with it. Now, whoops, wait a minute, on oh, the baseline was right. <laughs> Hillary kind of kind of stepped on the baseline, so 2.02 remaining. Here's 35, she's a shooter, puts one in and wouldn't go in, wouldn't stay down, and a foul, a pushing foul on the rebound. And it's going to go up to the upper dolphin end. And uh, it might be Hillary Lightso shooting yet uh, another foul shot. Not sure. Let's see. No, it's going to be Karen Dravovis. Wait a minute. She's going to get some instructions first. Coach Ozenbach told her put it through that little thing with the rope on it. <laughs> okay. We'll see if Karen can make one of these. Now she's shooting a one and one, so she's got to make the first one. And she did not. Over in the wing it goes, and it's going to be controlled over there by Newport. Working it down the right side goes that 13. Looking for a pass underneath the 22 for two. It's good. 22 gets two. And it's now a five-point margin. Ooh, nice pass underneath for Robin Stom, and Robin had that one go off her fingertips and out of bounds. Couldn't quite hang on to it. It's 23-18 with a minute 35 left in the ball game. 13 over here for that 35 gal. Whoops, wow, Hillary Lightso going to the deck hard. Ball runs loose in there, 22 picks it up and hold it, hold it, a foul called. Foul will be on Weaver and Weaver might have picked up her fifth, but we'll see, yeah, it is. And she's gonna have to leave the ball game. She will leave after fouling out, and uh, Coach O will send into the ball game Jade Melhorn to replace uh, Miss Weaver. In the meantime, Newport at the line, number 22. She'll be shooting a one and one. Her first shot is good. To wait a minute, bounced off the top of the bucket. Wait a minute, there gotta be some question about that one. It bounced off the top of the basket up here. I thought that was out of bounds. Well, maybe not, I guess anything goes here. She'll put her second one up and in good. She made two out of two, it's a three point ball game. 23-20 with a minute 20 remaining in the ball game. Lights are working it down the right side here now. The Trojans gonna have to set it up, but Hillary loses the handle on it, it goes out of bounds. Newport coming back with a chance to pull within one. Uh, 13 is going to see what she can do about that. Pushes it over on the wing. 50 goes around her man, puts a shot up. No good. Rebound comes down to Dravovis. She's working it back up with a head of steam. He had Jade Mailhorn open for a moment, but uh, not really uh, too clearly open, so she passes it back to Leitzel. Over the wing it goes for Mailhorn. Mailhorn will take it in. Lost the handle on it, but got it back again now. Into the corner it goes again on the baseline is Mailhorn and a foul call. It's going to be a blocking foul call on 50. She denies any knowledge of it, but uh, <laughs> Jade's going to go to the line shooting a one and one, I believe, with just 
45 seconds remaining in the ball game. And Jade will be shooting a one on one. Here's Jade's first attempt. And it is good. All right. Nice shot. Made her first one. She's going to call a huddle here now. All right. 24 20 now. UD by four with uh, 45 seconds left. And here is Jade Mailhorn's second shot. And it is nice, good shot. Two good buckets from the free throw line by Jade Mailhorn. Makes it a five point ball game now with 42 seconds left. Here's 13, looking for a 15 footer. Wouldn't go. Rebound comes out of that 50. She puts a shot up. It's good. And she's foul, so we could easily be back to within two. 5-0 with a bucket. The bucket counted. She'll go to the line to get a three-pointer out of this. As the foul was on... Uh, I'm not sure yet. Okay, foul was on 13. That's uh, Shade. She picked up her fourth with just 36 seconds left. And 50 at the line to make it a two-pointer. She can put this one in. Here's her shot. It's good. We've got a two-point ball game now with 36 seconds left. 25-23, UD by two. <coughs> Here comes Hillary Leitzel. Hillary has the ball tipped out of there, and then a push off on 13 will be called. And Leitzel will go to the line to shoot a big one and one. So we'll see if Hillary has any shooting left in her. There is only 29 seconds remaining, and Hillary's going to be looking at a big one and one. If Hillary can hit the first one. And here it is. It is. Ooh, off to the left. Newport with a rebound. Spinning it over to wing. Going to lose it out of bounds. Be up and off and ball. That was a costly error by the Newportians that time as they had the rebound and couldn't hang on to it. 25 seconds remaining. UD with the ball. Drive Abyss will inbound the ball for Upper Dauphin. Right here for Mailhorn. Back over for Drive Abyss. Drive Abyss takes it up, but wait a minute. A uh, bucket is good before the shot. No shot. Hold it. I think this man's going to call no shot. No basket. Foul is on Newport, and Drive Abyss will go to the line shooting a one and one. Her bucket was uh, disallowed, and we have 20 seconds left, and uh, she'll be shooting a one and one now. See if she can make these two, be the same as getting two. Here's the first shot. It is no good. Rebound comes down here to Mailhorn. Oh, she puts a shot up, it wouldn't go. Rebound battled for inside there, and let's see, Stom races forward onto the corner, and then it's gonna go out of bounds off UDA. And Newport's going to have the ball with 13 seconds left. And here they come. We'll keep an eye on the clock and an eye on each girl. 13, dropping it back over to 35. 35 shot off the glass, wouldn't go. Return shot in there with five seconds left. Let's see, it's going to be taken back out. 22 slams, one up, no good. Rebound's going to go over the wing, and it goes... As the time expires, and UDA coming up with a big two-point victory. It's 25-23. The Junior Varsity Gals over these Newport Buffalo Junior Varsity Gals. So, turned out to be a good ball game, low scoring, but uh, pretty exciting here at the end. And uh, UD coming away a winner over these young Buffaloes of Newport. So, we'll uh, catch you later at the next uh, Newport. The junior, or the next stop at often, junior varsity basketball game. Congratulations to Coach O and all these junior varsity gals. all you uh, Upper Dolphin uh, Varsity Gal fans. Uh, tonight, the Trojans play host to the uh, Newport Buffaloes here at uh, UDA High School. 
The Trojans coming off a victory last time out when they uh, played in the uh, Love 99 Christmas tournament and won the consolation game of that tournament over the Williams Valley Vikings over there at uh, Tri-Valley. So tonight they'll try to put it back in uh, play and back on the track here in the league as we play these Newport Buffaloes. Newport not having a great season by any means this year uh, has had uh, a lot of problems and uh, has been blown out of a couple of ball games I noticed in the paper so I'm not sure how the Trojans will make out tonight but I think it should be a good UDA effort tonight so we'll find out here in just a moment as we have the introduction of the ball players and the uh, National Anthem and then we'll be back with the opening tip. Pick up the uh, Trojan lineup now as Bechtel is the first one introduced and along with uh, Jen Daniels will be the second young gal out there. Thirdly will be uh, Wirt and uh, Brandy Botts introduced fourth and then Crystal Snyder will be the final uh, young starter for these Trojans. So uh, we'll have the uh, Newport lineup here as we go along in the game. So we'll be back in just one moment. Okay, we have the national anthem and the teams are getting set now to take the court. Again, we will pick up the Newport Buffalo gals as we uh, go along. 53 out there is Miley. She'll be jumping center with uh, Brandy Botts. Brandy came off a big game last uh, time out against the Williams Valley Vikings. The prior game, Randy was really suffering with a cold. Looks as though she may be pretty much uh, healthy tonight, and we certainly hope so. Here's the ball. Rolls loose underneath there. Wirt will pick it up and uh, take it back outside now as uh, she had a little bit of trouble with it. Sarah working it on the near wing over here for Daniels. Now back out front for Wirt. Daniels on the near wing again. They look inside the dump it there for Botts. Botts muscles away inside for two, but it wouldn't go. And a rebound comes down and it's controlled by Miley. And then a jump called as uh, Bechtel goes in there and grabs that ball. Good job by Amy tying it up. And this will be a Dudley to inbound the ball for Newport. Way down court it goes and racing back for it goes Bechtel and Amy will get it, roll on the baseline with it, stolen back over here. Here's a pass back out here for that Miley gal. She puts a shot up and she's fouled. Foul will be on Brandy Botts, her first, and Miley will go to the line, shooting two. Miley at the line, shooting a pair. First shot won't go. Miley's second shot is no good. So Brandy Botts with a big rebound and back with it. Comes UDA to see if we can take a a lead here. Here's a drop over here for Daniels looking for two in and out of spun. No good. Rebound tipped out of there off the hands of Miley. It'll be new uh, UDA ball. Jen Daniels will inbound for Upper Dauphin. Here's a nice dump inside for Botts again for two. It's no good. Brandy missed the shot and back with it comes Newport. Well, here's a push ahead here now for that uh, Dudley. Dudley for two. No good. Rebound bounced around in Aaron Botts again with a big rebound for UDA. And back comes Sarah Wirt. Over on the wing it goes for Daniels. Now back out here for Wirt. Daniels has spun over on the right side this time now. Go inside, they go to Botts. Botts spins it over this way, looking for a winger, but nobody over here. And out of bounds it goes. It will be Dudley inbounding for Newport. Number 136 fires continue to rage along the have a couple of Mitchells on the team. This is one of them. Now back here for Dudley. Dudley at the top of the circle. Bounce pass over here for the one Mitchell. K Mitchell and the other one's Billy Mitchell. Here's Mitchell with a shot. Partially blocked perhaps and let's see. It's going to roll on the floor picked up by Daniels back here for Wirt. And Sarah will work it back up. We have no score. Played a minute and a half into the ball game. Wirt will try it over there for Daniels now. Jen looking to see if she can throw up maybe a three-pointer. If she gets an opportunity, she will. Cross court, it comes here for Bechtel. Back for Daniels. Daniels stepping inside, tries to pop it in there, but Miley knocks it out of the hands of Botts and out of bounds. UD will inbound the ball. Here's a shot from the side for two. A little bit too long. Rebound on the far side, controlled over there by Dudley. And a foul called as Dudley. No, no foul. I beg your pardon. No foul. Stepped on the on the end line. And Jen Daniels will check out of the ball game now as Brooke Kreiser comes in as Coach Shadle looking to get a little offensive spark into the game now. Both teams very slow on the offense. No score. Can't get any slower than that. Anyway, 
Here's a bounce pass over here for Brooke. The Brookster makes things happen sometimes when she's in there, so they dump it back outside now. It comes back out here to Wirt. Wirt with a bounce pass over here for Kreiser on the baseline. She's looking for two. In and out, it's spun no good. There's a lid on that bucket. And back with it comes uh, Mitchell, one of the Mitchells, out there for Dudley. Dudley, a big name at Newport. Everyone remembers uh, Rick Dudley, big uh, athlete from Newport. Probably a relative, maybe a sister, don't know. Anyway, shot taken over there, no good. Dudley with a return shot, that wouldn't go. 44 has it, and wait a minute, this is the other Mitchell. That's that Billy Mitchell, and she uh, dri double dribbled it. So we still have no score. We now played uh, two minutes and tw 39 seconds. No score, both teams throwing a shutout. Here's Sarah Wirt. Near wing over here for Kreiser, who dumps it inside off the hands of Brandy Botts. Brandy was kind of breaking to the right, and uh, Brooks passed a little bit too far to the left. Brandy couldn't catch up with it. Here's a quick pass on a big lob out here now. It's going to be controlled by the other Mitchell. She loses a handle on it, goes to the floor. She's injured as she grabs her right knee, left knee, and this young lady is in pain. Just the way she went down there, she may have hyperextended her knee. If you uh, look on there, did something to it, and um, she's getting some attention with 5.04 left. Nearly three minutes going into the ball game and no score. Okay, timeout is over as the young uh, Mitchell is going to be administered to over there in the, off the bench near the uh, door to the locker room. Shot from the side by Bechtel is good for two. It's two nothing UDA as Bechtel gets her unwound here. Amy took the lid off of it. And back comes Miss Dudley for Newport. Dudley spinning it over here now for Billy Mitchell and Billy. Her dad, obviously, a flyer or a uh, aviation fan. Shot put up there by Bowersox was no good. And out of bounds, it went off the shot, so it'll be UD ball. 2 nothing up and off in four minutes and 31 seconds left in the first quarter. Definitely anybody's ball game at this point. Here comes Word dumping it inside there off the fingertips of Amy Bechtel. Amy was there. The pass was there. Amy just didn't catch it. And uh, Newport with another opportunity. Here comes that uh, Dudley. Ooh, looked like a little carry there, but no call. Dudley trying to work it inside there on uh, Wirt. Stops, puts a 15-footer up and in. Good. So Dudley gets two and ties up the ball game. It's 2-2. Wirt bouncing it here for Kreiser. Now back outside there for that Sarah Wirt. Here's the Brookster into the corner for Botts. Back out in front for Wirt. Wirt will take it and drop it right on the baseline on a nice give and go, but a, she missed a shot, return shot by Crystal Steiner. Wouldn't go, but Crystal fires up her rebound and is foul. Crystal will go to the line shooting two. Crystal shooting two. She can untie the score if she makes this first one. Whoops, wait a minute. She missed it, off to the left. She'll get one more try at it here. And her second shot is um, good. All right, it's 3-2 as Crystal puts one in and she will leave the ball game as uh, Amy Rao comes into the Trojan lineup. And Heisey will inbound the ball. Let's see, Dudley captures it over there on that uh, far side and comes back with it now. Quick pass into the corner here for Heisey. She tries to dump it inside there for Miley. She puts a shot up, no good. Bauer Sox tries to put a shot, but it's blocked away and back with it comes Wirt for UDA. Wirt driving inside on uh, Dudley, but uh, she is stopped there. Dudley helps her up very nicely. And Sarah turned it over on the walk. Heisey will inbound the ball. Or Billy Mitchell, and now back to Heisey. Looking for Dudley. Dudley's got it, pushes off. Uh, but Miss Dudley across the timeline now. And works it over there. Now Dudley has it on the baseline, tries to shuffle it underneath, but Wirt picks that pass off. And back comes Sarah Wirt. 
She'll work it across the timeline here, dropping it for Brooke Kreiser. Brooke looking to pass it over in the wing. Nice pass and a shot over there by Bechtel wouldn't go. Return shot by Bo uh, Botts is good. Oh, Brandy gets into the scorebook with her first of many. And back with it comes Dudley. Near wing over here for that uh, Heisey. Heisey passing it in there for Bauer Sox and into the corner it goes now. Here's Heisey with it again. Now Bauer, or, uh, Dudley has it. She puts a shot up a little bit short and off to the left. And it's going to be saved from going out of bounds underneath. And they tap it out of bounds over on the wing. So UD, I think, is going to inbound the ball. Everybody just standing around. I'm not sure anybody knows whose it is. That's going to be our ball, I think. No, they say... Uh, the ball belongs to uh, Newport. Dudley has it. Passes it inside, but Bechtel knocks it away nicely. Picked up in there by Kreiser. Brook breaking back here. Left-handed layup. Wouldn't go down. And the rebound comes down there to that uh, Miley. Or check it. Make it Bauer Sox. And uh, foul called. Or was she out of bounds? I'm not sure now. At any rate, Kreiser's going to inbound the ball for UDA, that I'm sure of. Over here now, here's a shot by Erdman, who just came into the ball game, a little long. Return shot by Brooke Kreiser, good. It's now 7-2, up and off and by five. Heisey inbounding it over here for that uh, Dudley. Dudley across the timeline, guarded out there this time by Shana Erdman. She'll drop it here for Heisey. Heisey takes it inside, loses the handle on it, ball goes on the floor, and let's see, whoa, hold everything. As Abby Dribovis and uh, Miss Heisey get all tangled up out here. It's going to be UD ball, I think. Ah, uh, gals, <laughs> everybody moving up court here. It's not me, folks. The gals just seem to wander away from the referees here and looks for a moment like no one wants to take it in. Billy Mitchell checking out of the ball game as Newport sends a couple of subs in. We'll pick these guys up here in a moment. This is Heisey dropping it back here now for Dudley. She tries to roll it inside, gets tangled up in the paint, but drops it off over there for Bauer Sox. Tribal Miss and Bauer Sox fight for it. It's going to be tied up, and it will be UD ball as Abby Tribal Miss tying it up over there with Bauer Sox, and UD's turn to get it, and we got it. Here is Sheena Erdman for the Trojans. Over there for Dribovis. Back here for Erdman. Outside here for uh, Brooke Kreiser. Brooke trying to look inside with it. Drops it on the baseline and Dribovis rolls it back out. Off the leg this time of that uh, number 14 Gleason. And Brooke will inbound for UD. Here for Rao. Inside they go with it to Botts. Tapped outside here now for Erdman. Sheena for Dribovis. Now back to Erdman. Here's Abby looking for two. Whoop, wouldn't go. Rebound in there to Botts, who made a good, strong rebound out of Great rebound by uh, Brandy Botts. If you saw her with that big arm, Brandy got her out there and pulled that one home very, very nicely. And back come the uh, Newport Buffaloes, but having trouble out here is Heisey with it. She'll lose it, and uh, UD will inbound. It's 9-2. Upper Dauphin. Kreiser inside for Botts. Now they dump it over in the wing over there. Now back to Brandy. Brandy looking for a 14-footer, a little short. Rebound comes down in there to that Bauer Sox gal. She'll drop it over there for Dudley. And Dudley coming back with a crowd as she stops out front now to clear the Trojan defense. But inside she'll take it. Dropping it over there. Let's see. It's picked up there by Bauer Sox. Bauer Sox is fouled. The foul will be on UD. And it's going to be on uh, Brandy Botts. Brandy's going to pick up her second personal with 26 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And Miss Bauer Sox at the line shooting two. And her first shot is good. Miley checks back into the ball game for Newport. Brandy Botts takes a seat for UD as uh, Bixler comes in for 
Upper Dauphin. Second shot by Bauer Sox, no good. Rebound in there by that 34 gal is partially blocked away maybe. And back with it comes Erdman for UDA. Sheena taking it onto the baseline, puts the shot up a little short, rebound tapped around and air controlled by Kreiser on the baseline. And wait a minute, a blocking foul will be called on Hartman, number 34 of Newport. Brooke Kreiser will inbound the basketball for UD, here for Abby Dravobis. Here goes Erdman with it, clocked down to four seconds. Erdman looking for two at the buzzer, nope, wouldn't go. Dravobis, if she can get it up, oh, nope, couldn't get it up. So the Trojans with a good uh, first quarter started off very, very slowly. Looked for a moment there like no one's going to score. But then the Trojans put on nine points and the Buffaloes three at the end of one. Miley set to inbound the ball to Dudley here as we begin the second period of play. Trojans up by six, nine, three at the end of one. And Dudley passing it here for Miley. There was a play there, but it didn't develop. And oh, there's a nice pass to Bowersox, who fires it about three feet over everybody. But Hartman with a follow-up shot, no good. And then finally, My uh, Miley puts it home. So it's now a 9-5 ball game. Here's Jen Daniels back into the ball game for UD. Tries to put a pass inside. Jen has it back inside. They go quickly here for Bots and Bots for two. It's good. Well, the pass didn't work the first time, then they tried it again, and the uh, second time it was good as the ball came right back to Daniels, and she tried to pop it back in again and was successful the second try. And uh, let's see, Kelly Mitchell back into the ball game for Newport, so that young lady is going to be okay. She is the one that went out with a bum knee here a little earlier, and she's back in there. Good to see that. And back comes Dudley for Newport. Racing down there, but stolen away is uh, Wirt. Wirt coming back with it. She has Bots over here. Brandy looking for two more. It's good. Brandy Bots on a good steal by Wirt, and then a good finish to it by Bots. In the meantime, Bauer Sox has it for Newport. Bauer Sox dropping it off on the baseline. Shot from over there by Hartman is good. Oh, young Miss Hartman gets two. It's 13 7. Here is Wirt near. Bounce here for Daniels. Over in the wing they go here for Bechtel. Now back out Jen. Jen's going to look for three. Ooh, I thought it was good. No good. Dudley has it. And a foul called on Amy Bechtel as Amy reached in that time and picked up the personal foul. For Miss B, it is her first. And uh, Kelly Mitchell will inbound the ball for Newport. Billy Mitchell checks back into the ball game for the Buffaloes at this point also. And here's a pass intended for Dudley. She receives it and goes to put a shot up and wait a minute. A blocking foul is going to be called on Sarah Wirt. I did not see the foul that time. Matter of fact, our young lady ref over here called that one before the, the two girls even got close enough to each other. I think she was anticipating that call and she made it. Much to the chagrin of Coach Shadle. <laughs> Don't blame you, Dave, one bit. Here's a shot inside by Miley. It's good. Well, they got the inbound pass right underneath the bucket. And Miss Miley was there to put it home. It's 13-9, a four-point ball game now. UD not exactly pulling away. Here's a shot from Bechtel for two. It's good. Amy with a nice rainbow shot from the side over there. Inbound pass knocked out of there by Wirt. Sarah Wirt, I think, might have been suffering with a cold the last time we saw these gals about a week and a half ago. Been some delays because of bad weather. But she seems to be doing very well now, too. Here comes Dudley again, making a good move, putting a shot up and in good. Dudley with a fine move that time. And it's a 15-E-11 game. Six minutes remaining here in the first half. Here is Shade, Tara blocked out of there on uh, her charge on the baseline and Billy Mitchell will pick up the personal foul for Billy it will be her second for the team it's fourth so uh, neither team in the bonus yet here's a pass inside here now for uh, Herdman oh, wait a minute I think a little walk in there as Sarah had the right idea but uh, was about one dribble short that time <laughs> and Dudley will inbound for Newport. 
Ooh, the ball stolen away. You can see that one coming, and wait a minute then. Uh, Bowerstock's reacting to the steal. Fell all over young Sarah Wirt. And uh, Miss Bowersox picks up her first personal. And Jen Daniels will inbound the ball for UDA. Whoops, off the fingertips of Tara Shade, picked up by Dudley. And back with it comes Dudley. Across the court she goes with it, trying to hit uh, Billy or, uh, Kelly Mitchell, who was streaking down there with her, but threw it right by her and out of bounds. Sarah Wirt bringing it up over there for, let's see, whoa, wait a minute, Dudley picks that pass off as they fool around with a little bit too much out there. Her shot was no good and a foul called on uh, Kelly Mitchell. She went over top of uh, UD. 534 left here and a half, 15-11. Heisey back into the ball game for Newport. For Kelly Mitchell, her first. They swing it over here now for Bechtel. Here is Jen Daniels looking for two. It's good. Nice bucket by Jen Daniels out there. Off the glass very, very nicely. Here's Bauer Sox with it, dropping it over there for that. Uh, Kelly Mitchell ahead now for Bauer Sox the game. Now they dump it onto the baseline here. Heisey for two, too long. Return shot over there, however, by that uh, Kelly, or, uh, Billy Mitchell is good. And it's now 17-13, UD by four. There's a pass inside for Botts. Back outside they come with it. Brandy playing at a high post position that time. Here comes Daniels looking for two more. It wouldn't go. Rebound came right down there to that Heisey. And she drops it back here for Kelly Mitchell. Whoops, Kelly with a big, what was that? I'm not sure what that was. Anyway, here's a pass inside. Billy Mitchell has it roll off her fingertips. Picked up in here by Tara Shade. And back comes UDA. Four minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the half. 17-13, UD by four. Jen Daniels will work it inside here now. 14-footer in. She rolls it in and spins it around in there. Jen's got four points. And on the inbound pass, it's going to go out of bounds. They say it rolled off the hands of Kelly Mitchell. And so uh, it will be UD ball. 404 left in the half. Shade and uh, work check out of the ball game as Erdman and... Uh, Let's see, it must have been Brooke Kreiser checking back in for UD. Well, I think we're set now as Erdman has it for Jen Daniels. Jen works it around the right side, dumping it on the baseline for Kreiser, but they're going to say that Brookster walked with it as she got underneath a little bit too deep that time and tried to sneak out over there on that right baseline in a quarter for the walk. Dudley checking back into the ballgame. She'll replace Billy Mitchell for Newport. And uh, timeout's going to be called right now by the Newport Buffaloes. So we have 357 left here in the first half, 1913 UD by six. Okay, the timeout is over. Newport will inbound the basketball. This will be Kelly Mitchell to inbound it. Does so here for Dudley. This Dudley breaking through the pack, has the ball tipped loose in air, controlled by Jen Daniels. Jen, look out, Jen, somebody looking after her, too, as sneaking up behind her over there that time was that uh, Heisey. And Heisey knocked the ball out of there, and uh, UD will inbound. Jen never saw her coming. Here's Erdman from way outside. That's a little long. No good. Rebound comes right back down here now to Mitchell. And she'll pass it out here. Botts picks off that pass, and a foul will be called on Kelly Mitchell as she bumped into and knocked over uh, Brooke Kreiser. Brookster took a bump that time. Looked like a check in a hockey game. <laughs> anyway, uh, for Mitchell, that is her first, second, second personal. Shot from the side, put up there by Bechtel, wouldn't go. Rebound, let's see. Controlled and knocked out of there by uh, Brooke Kreiser as she charged into uh, Dudley there, knocked that ball loose. And Dudley will inbound the ball for Newport. Heisey looking for it. Nope, can't get it into her, so they give it to uh, 
at uh, 53. And that was at Miley. And back with it comes uh, Mitchell. Nearing over here for Miley. Miley stepping inside, now dropping it back here. Ooh, Mitchell had a shot. Oh, gosh, Kelly had a shot there, didn't take it. Now they drop it here for that uh, uh, Heisey. Ball saved from going out of bounds, but Bechtel's got it. Amy is kind of in control of it. <laughs> okay, she'll drop it back for Brooke for two. Wouldn't go. Rebound tapped around in air. Controlled out there. Let's see. They spin it back here, however, and Mitchell picks it up. This is Kelly Mitchell. Puts the shot up, and Brandy Botts finally clears it and slows things down as she'll drop it out here now for Bechtel. Another big rebound, that time the defensive board rebound. Here's a pass and a shot by Botts is good. Brandy with two more. Heisey working around with it out here and finally gets Jen Daniels to reach in and foul her. And uh, Kelly Mitchell will inbound the ball. Jen picks up her first personal foul. Here's Dudley with it. Has it stolen out of there by Brooke Kreiser, and Brooke will take it back court. As she made the steal, but then took it back over the uh, center line. And so Billy Mitchell, or uh, rather Kelly Mitchell, will inbound the ball for Newport. Back here for that uh, high Z gal. She takes it across the timeline for Dudley. Dudley trying to dump it inside on the baseline as they look for um, Miley underneath. But passed it over her head and out of bounds. Just two seconds, no, two minutes and uh, eight seconds remaining here. This clock sometimes fools me. Here's Jen Daniels out in front. Jen looking for bots. Oh, Brandy's right there. She's hacked. She'll go to the line shooting too. Nice pass again from Jen Daniels. Find Brandy, found Brandy Botts right on that right baseline. And Brandy went to put the shot up, but she was hacked. She'll go to the line to get two freebies. As, uh, let's see, Amy Bechtel checks out of the ball game. Abby Dribovis coming in for Bechtel. Randy shooting a pair. And here's Brandy's first shot. It's good. Mentioned up at the uh, UDA Williams Valley ball game uh, what kind of a good uh, foul shooter Brandy was, and she missed two in a row. So I'm not going to say anything about it tonight. Here's her second shot, though, and, well, she got one out of two. And coming away with it inside there is Erdman dropping it here for Drivovis. And little Sheena tried to get uh, inside there with it and got buried. It was a pass inside, tapped out of there by Newport. And Jen Daniels will inbound the ball back here for Erdman. Erdman stepping inside the paint, loses the handle on it, drops it right there for Dribovis, who for shot one, go down and hold it. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, hanging on foul called by the referee on Dribovis. And for the team, it is their sixth, I think. And uh, for Abby Dribovis, her first. Well, Mitchell waited too long to get the ball in play. The referee counted off five. Kelly Mitchell never was able to get the ball out of the end zone. So UD with it. Here's Drivovis. Oh, Abby almost took a shot at it. <laughs> Here comes Erdman working it inside, trying to roll it across perhaps to Brooke Kreiser, but she is tripped up in there and a foul will be called on number 32. And that's that uh, Heisey gal. She'll pick up the personal for Newport, and that's going to send Sheena Erdman to the line, shooting a one and one. As uh, that was the seventh team foul for Miss Heisey, her first. And the first shot by Erdman is no good. Rebound over there, controlled by Brooke Kreiser. The Brookster took it right away from uh, that big Miley gal. Here's a shot by Erdman from the side. It's good. Shana Erdman with a two-bagger from about 18 feet out. 
And on the inbound pass, it gets knocked out of there. And they're going to say it is UD ball. So another good play by Sheena Erdman, who uh, will inbound the ball for UD. Back here for Daniels. This is Dribovis bouncing it inside there for Crystal Snyder, but out of Crystal's reach that time and out of bounds it goes. It'll be Newport to inbound the ball. Kelly Mitchell will inbound Abby, uh, or rather, uh, Brooke Kreiser checking out of the ball game now as uh, Amy Rao checks in for UDA. Inbound pass here for Dudley. Dudley will take it across the timeline for her Newport Buffaloes. They trail now by 11, it's 24-13. Here's Bowersox dribbling it off her leg and out of bounds. It will be UD to inbound it with 59 seconds left here in the first half. Jen Daniels bringing it up for UD. Here for Abby Dribowitz. Abby looking for two, it's a little bit too long. Tip back out here, Dudley controls it for Newport. More or less, yeah, now she's got it back in control here. As she spins it past Abby Dribowitz. Now over here it goes for that uh, Mitchell. Back to Kelly Mitchell. Back out for Dudley. Dudley for two. In and out, it wouldn't stay down. Rebound comes down and goes off the hands of either Rao or uh, Daniels, not sure whom. One of those two Trojans. And uh, with 22 ticks left, Miley will inbound the ball. Over there for Mitchell. Mitchell bounces it inside here. Bauer Sox spin around shot. Good. Well, Miss Bauer Sox got herself too. Makes it a 24-15 ball game with just seven seconds remaining. Herdman's gonna have to look to pop one up here. Loses a handle on it. Mitchell picks it up. She's coming back with just one second. This'll be good if it goes. It wouldn't go. All right, well, that ends the first half. And again, UD in the lead this time by nine at the end of half the ball game is 24-15 Upper Dauphin. So uh, we'll be back with the second half in just a moment. go with the second half of play here tonight and the Upper Dauphin Trojans take on these Newport Buffalo gals and uh, UD with that uh, nine point lead here at halftime and they're going to try to see if they can increase that as Jen Daniels is out there along with uh, Bechtel who has it now Amy circling out in front here with uh, Erdman and now back to Bechtel eventually Bots in there also along with Brooke Kreiser. Here's your shot from the side for two by Erdman. So Sheena Erdman gets two more for these UDA Trojans and it's now 26-15, the margin up to 11. Here's Dudley with it for Newport. Quick pass down here now for that uh, Heisey. Inside they go with it to that Billy Mitchell. Now back out to Dudley. Inside for Miley. Miley looking for a couple, puts a shot up and in good. So Miss Miley has a two for Newport. Brought a smile to her face and back with it come the Trojans. Here's Bechtel out in front, Dudley all over her, finally knocks uh, Amy down, but uh, pass over here. Now let's see, who's gonna control it? It's gonna be Kelly Mitchell. She bounces it for Dudley. Dudley for two, no good. Return shot by Mitchell is good. She's fouled, and Kelly will go to the line, shooting one to get three. Foul was on Amy uh, Bechtel, her second. And uh, Mitchell cannot make it three. She got uh, two points out of that, though. And back with it comes uh, Erdman. On the baseline, loses a handle on it. And a quick outlet up here for Dudley. Dudley racing back there with Bechtel. And Dudley's shot wouldn't go down, but right there was uh, Mitchell with the follow-up shot. And timeout's gonna be called by Coach Shadle as he is mad. He's mad at the way the gals have come out here and performed in the early going of the second half as uh, they've seen Newport trim the margin to five. Now it's 26-21 and uh, we'll be right back. Trojan timeout is over, and uh, they'll get the ball now. Coach Shadle had 
couple of words for the gals here at that timeout. Now wants to see them play some basketball out here. They had lulled themselves to sleep. Here's Daniels trying to work it inside, but she turned it over instead. And that's going to give the ball back to Newport, and the Buffaloes will have a chance to trim the margin to just three points. So, ball game, uh, not one of these where you can put the other team away. I think UD right now is the better team out there, but they're not playing like it. And there's a ball knocked out of there by Amy Bechtel. Some good hustle by young A.B. And Dudley will inbound the ball for Newport. Here comes that Kelly Mitchell with it. Bounces it over here, but it's tapped away. And let's see. Now they're still high, uh, fighting for it as high as he had knocked it out of there. But now Erdman coming back for UDA. Dropping it for Bechtel. Over there for Botts. Now they put it over in a baseline for uh, two from Jen Daniels. Good bucket there by the Jennifer. Here comes Dudley back with it. 28-21 UD by seven. Dudley working it out in front now with uh, Amy Bechtel on her. Little behind the back uh, dribble and a shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, forces a shot up. It wouldn't go down. Rebound comes back here, let's see. Gonna be picked up by uh, Heisey and Heisey will go to the line shooting two as she was fouled trying to make the shot. So she'll go to the line to shoot a pair. That was on Jen Daniels, her second. Heisey at the line shooting her first of two. And it's good. Bower Sox checks back into the ball game for Newport as uh, Billy Mitchell checking out for the uh, Newport Buffaloes. Miss Heisey's second shot is no good. Rebound's going to go out of there off Newport as uh, Bower Sox apparently got a hand on it. And the truck, no, an off. A bots. Okay, I thought it had gone off bots, but the ref doesn't signal very much, and they're both teams a little confused here as to who the heck has the ball. Here's Bauer Sox. Boy, had it tapped out of there, and Kreiser will pick up a foul as the Brookster made the initial steal, but then uh, got a little more aggressive on the reach in and gave a bump to Bauer Sox, and she picks up the foul. For Brook, it will be her. Uh, well, they didn't put it up yet. Wirt and uh, Dravovis checking back in for UDA along with Crystal Snyder, Botts, and Bechtel in there. And we're going to have a pushing foul called on Bauer Sox as she is pushing off in there. I think you could see it. She, he, she and Brandy Botts sparring out here, and Bauer Sox picks up the personal foul. She's really getting aggressive, trying to deny the input or the inbound pass. I mean, here comes Wirt dropping it over here for Crystal Snyder for two. Crystal shot wouldn't go down. The rebound comes down here to Bauer Sox. She's trapped on the baseline and gets knocked out of bounds. But they're gonna say it went off UD. How it went off UD, I'll never tell you. And now uh, Dudley will inbound it. I think. Nope, she would not. She took too long to inbound the pass and uh, was called for the five second violation. It's 28 22. Now UD by six. 5.05 left here in the third. Here's a shot by Bechtel. Amy's shot wouldn't go down. Rebound comes over there to Crystal Snyder, and Crystal Snyder's shot does. So Crystal in the right place at the right time. That time got that uh, rebound off Amy Bechtel's shot and put her home. Here comes Dudley, and a uh, blocking foul will be called on Abby Drabobis as Abby blocked uh, Miss Dudley going down that right side over there. For Abby, it's her second. Here comes Dudley back with it, with word on her. Spins around Sarah, dumping it inside here now, and a foul called, a foul be on Crystal Snyder, I believe, as she must have fouled a Miss Miley. Be none shooting, or will it be shooting? No, none shooting. Miley lines up as though she's going to shoot, but no, she's not. She's just getting ready for the inbound play. Dudley to inbound it. Back over here now. Ooh, here's a foul call as they reach in. Sarah Wirt will pick up the foul. Team's sixth as uh, for Sarah. It will be uh, personal foul number 
two, I believe. We'll see in a moment here. Here comes Dudley with it, working it out front. Oh, the ball knocked loose in there by a good, and a good play by Bechtel, and then she is fouled. Amy with a good defensive play that time for UD. Here comes that young work gal. She's a freshman. Bounces it off the leg of Dudley and out of bounds. UD will inbound the game. And Billy Mitchell coming back into the ball game. She will replace power stocks for Newport. There's a ball stolen away, and uh, Dudley has it for Newport. She throws it over to an open wing over there. No one over there. And back come the Trojans. Newport missing an opportunity that time to close the gap. They trail by eight. Here's Abby Dreibelbiss. Swinging it in front here, shot by Bechtel, wouldn't go down. Rebound underneath there, controlled, whoa, wait a minute. Dudley goes to the floor very heavily right in the paint down there. She's gonna be okay. They're gonna call a blocking foul on the UD. And it might have been on, well, we'll see. Foul was on Upper Dolphins number, or no, it wasn't on Upper Dolphins. Wait, now I'm not sure. <laughs> they get set to bring it in down here. Foul was on 34, Wirt. That yeah, was on Wirt. And uh, Sarah picked up her third, and Dudley's going to go to the line shooting a, a one and one, seventh team foul there. Newport has committed two personals here in the second half. Here's Dudley's first shot, and it is good. Heisey checks out of the ball game. Hartman back in there for Newport as Dudley looks for her second freebie. And it will not go down and Botts with a rebound. Brandy's been pretty quiet offensively here in the second half. I had to get her into the ball game. Now here's Brooke Kreiser looking for two. Rolls it across, there's Brandy with a big rebound. Shot good, out of girl Brandy. All right. Brandy with a big rebound and a oh, good bucket. Whoops, wait a minute. 10 seconds might expire here, let's see. Dudley bringing it across the time. No, she made it. It was getting close. Here comes Dudley taking it into the paint. Puts the shot up and a foul call, a charging foul will be called on Miss Dudley. As she went charging into the center of that Trojan uh, foul area in the paint and knocked over a couple UDA ball players and picks up the personal foul. Here comes Jen Daniels working it over there on the left wing for a pass inside by Brooke Kreiser, but wait a second. It went off a leg first before Brandy picked it up and put it home, so that didn't count. Here's a shot by Shade for two. No good. Rebound comes down to Dudley and a walk will be called as she couldn't quite control the, herself. And uh, Jen Daniels will inbound for Upper Dauphin. Here's the Brooke Kreiser working it inside. Eight foot shot, no good. Rebound goes out of bounds over there. Off blue. And Jen Daniels will inbound the ball. Bauer Sox will inbound it. I mean, we'll come back into the ball game to replace Miley for Newport. Jen Daniels inbounds it nicely here for Botts. Brandy for two, it wouldn't go. Brandy gets her own rebound though and puts the shot up, that would go. Wait a second, there's a shot finally put up by Andrea Vixler and Andrea is fouled and she'll go to the line shooting two. There's Andrea's first chance from the foul line and it's a little bit short, she'll shoot another one. Foul is on Bauer Sox, her fourth. 
Bixler looking for her second one, and it, oh, in and out, spun, no good. Rebound tipped out of there. They're probably going to say it was off Brandy Botts, and indeed they do. So it will be Newport inbound. 2.53 left here in the third. Heisey back into the ball game, and a holding foul will be called on uh, Newport. I don't know if it was on Heisey or not. might have been, as she was holding inside there. No, it was on 25, uh, Dudley picking up the foul. Here's Brooke Kreiser. She tries to roll one in there, but it wouldn't go in. Brooke with her own rebound, following up that shot very nicely. Here's Jen looking for three. It's good. Jen Daniels with the first three-pointer of the ball game, and it's now 35-23 as the margin grows to 12 for UDA. And it comes Heisey with it across the timeline, dropping it over there for uh, Mitchell, but the ball comes loose in there. Going to be fought for, but picked up by Dudley. The back she comes with it, tries to dump it inside. Botts blocks it away. Brandy up big that time. Got both arms up there. Here's a quick break back here for Shade. Tara's shot wouldn't go. Return shot by Brooke Kreiser won't go. Ball tipped out here, controlled by Shade. Ball game heating up here just momentarily. Here's uh, Daniels with it. And Jen working in around outside here, pushes it inside here for Brandy. Brandy for two, wouldn't go down. And the rebound comes down to Goodling, and she is fouled by Andrea Bixler, I believe. Let's see. Or was it Goodling fouling Bixler? Yeah, it goes the other way around. Goodling picks up the foul. No. Goodling will shoot, and Bixler picks up the personal foul. Her. Uh, let's see. Well, Pixler her first. Goodling's first shot. No good. Rebound comes down here, and Andrea Pixler puts it up, but miss as Andrea shot it up in the wrong basket. And thank goodness she missed the shot. Anyway, it will be a foul underneath. And this is going to send uh, Kelly Mitchell to the line, shooting um, two. Ball was on Jen Daniels, her third. Mitchell, shooting two. Her first one, good. <laughs> Miley back into the ball game for Newport, along with good for the uh, Newport Buffaloes. As Mitchell looks for her. Second one, and it is good also. 35-25, UD by 10. Here comes Erdman with Mitchell on her. Erdman picks it back up again, passes it ahead here. It's going to be controlled. Whoop, wait a minute. Not quite controlled as uh, Dudley grabbed it, but hopped a little bit with it, and that's going to give the ball back here to Brooke Kreiser of UD. Tina Erdman has it. She has shade over in the left wing. That's uh, Tara with it now. Drives onto the baseline, puts a shot a little short, no good. Rebound comes right back there to Newport, and Mitchell has it. Shade on her. Mitchell coming down with it all the way. Puts the shot up a little short, no good. Gets her own rebound shot, puts it up high off the boards. And let's see, a reach in foul is going to be called on Mitchell. And she reached into uh, Shana Erdman. And it will be Kreiser inbounding. Mitchell picked up her third. According to scoreboard operator extraordinaire John Long, here's, here's a Bixler for two, no good. Rebound right under there by Amy Rao, though that wouldn't go. Amy gets her own rebound, puts a shot up, and it's good. That a girl, Amy. Amy hanging in there, missed the first one, got her own rebound and put the second one in. 37-25, less than a minute to play here in the third. Here comes Miss Dudley. On the baseline, they go with it for Miley, and or for, uh, yeah, Miley, and her shot is good. Here comes Brookster back with it. Kreiser coming down with 42 seconds left here in the third. Herdman over here for Shade. 
Tara. Back outside for Shayna Erdman. Now in the shade, bounces it inside here for Bixler. Bixler looking for two, wouldn't go. Rebound shot on the far side by Amy Rao, wouldn't go. And let's see, with 20 seconds, we're gonna have a walk called on Good that time. Is this young gal who plays JV also. Uh, got that rebound and walked with a little bit. And Brooke Kreiser will inbound the ball as uh, Kelly Mitchell checks out of the game. Erdman out in front, now working it down into the paint, dropping it back over there now with 12 seconds remaining. Here's Brooke Kreiser on the baseline, trying to drop it inside for Bixler. She's got it, drops it back over here for Rao. Now outside, here's uh, Erdman looking for three. No good, rebound on the far side with two point seconds. Erdman's gonna have to put it up. This is good if it goes, but it didn't go. And then into the third period. So the Trojans gather, gather themselves a little more breathing room. It's 10 points now at the end of three, 37-27 with uh, one period to go. Newport has given the ball to begin the fourth period. The Newportians trailing by 10. There's a dump inside there intended for Miss Miley, but off her fingertips and out of bounds. Jen Daniels will inbound it here for uh, Erdman, or for uh, Wirt rather. Oh wow, is Wirt ever tripped up? Goes hard to the boards. Here's Jen Daniels in the meantime with a short shot and a foul underneath. Foul will be a pushing foul called on Brooke Kreiser, I believe. Yeah, Brooke gave him a shot. And someone from Newport is going to go to the foul line, and she will be shooting a one and one. And it's going to be Heisey at the line for Newport. Heisey shooting a one and one, and here is her first shot. And it is no good off to the left. It didn't hit the bucket, they say, and it will be UD ball. She missed the rim. 741 left. Still tied, I mean, still a 10 point margin for UD 37 27. Here's a quick pass up here for Brooke Kreiser for two, and she, Brooke, missed the shot. Uh, let's see, on the rebound, it's going to be controlled by Newport, then bounced off the fingertips of uh, Newport as it rolled off Heise and out of bounds. Here's Bechtel from outside. Ooh, missed the shot. And let's see. On the rebound, it's going to be Newport with it. And she is going to be tripped up over there as I think Jen Daniels might pick up a foul. Either she or Brooke. Yeah, Jen is going to pick up the personal foul. And uh, a Newport Buffalo gal is going to step to the line. It's going to be Heisey going to the line, shooting a one and one. Jen Daniels picked up her fourth personal with 7.23 left here in the uh, ball game. First shot by Heisey is good. He's gonna check out now after picking up her fourth as uh, Shayna Erdman comes back in for UDA. And uh, Miley at the line, shooting her second shot. And it is. No good, rebound comes right back down there. They're gonna spin it outside here where Dudley picks it up. She looks for two, wouldn't go. And a timeout called now. Dudley jumped into and all over Sarah Wirt. My goodness. I think Dudley came back down in the back of her neck. But anyway, she is going to leave the ball game now. She got a whack on the back. And coming in to replace her will be uh, Abby Drabobis. And Abby will inbound the ball for UDA. So Sarah, I think it's going to be okay, but uh, she did get a bump on the neck. Here's Erdman with it, back here for Drabovis. Abby will throw it ahead here for Botts. And now Bechtel has it. And let's see what the Trojans can do with this one. Over in the wing it goes. Here's Drabovis for two. Ooh, wouldn't go. Rebound comes down here, picked up by Erdman, puts a shot up and in good. Nice shot by Sheena Erdman in the tall timber in there, and Sheena got the shot up and in good. Here's that Heisey over there for uh, Kelly Mitchell. Working on Drivovis out in front now for Dudley. 
Dudley over on the right side. Now they drop it inside for Dudley for two. It is good. Nice play that time. Kind of caught the Trojans standing watching, and uh, Dudley snuck in behind them. Here's Brooke Kreiser on the left baseline, trying to drop it inside, but picked up in there by Dribblevis for two. Abby with a nice bucket. Using the glass effectively that time. Back with it comes Dudley. Oh, as Tribal Biss and Bechtel collide out here. But the ball's going to go out of bounds off the fingertips of Heisey anyway. Or, uh, pardon me, off the fingertips of uh, Miley. And UD coming back with it. Gee whiz. Here comes Erdman with the head fake. Bouncing it near wing over here for Bechtel. Now drive of this over there for Erdman. Sheena looking for two from outside. It's good. Two bagger for Erdman. 43-30, UD by 13. Here comes that Heisey gal. Working it down the left wing here with Abby Dribovis on her. Dropping it over there for that uh, Kelly Mitchell. She'll take it inside. 12 feet out. Pops one up and in. Good. Says, ah, this is close enough. And <laughs> so she hung it up and went in. 43-32, 11-point margin for UD. Here's a nice pass inside for Botts for two. Darn nice pass over there by that Abby Dribovis for Brandy Botts. And timeout's going to be called by Newport now as the Trojans mount a 13-point lead with 5-12 left here in the ballgame. 45-32, upper Dauphin. Okay. Newport to inbound the ball following their timeout. 5-12 left in the game. Five seconds is about ready to retire or expire, and Newport calls timeout. So the Trojans with some good denial on the inbound pass would not let the Buffaloes get it inbound, and they were forced to call another timeout. Okay, the ref puts her down here now as five seconds is about ready to expire. And Newport finally gets it inside here now as Goodling picks it up, but then a hold is going to be called on UD. And Goodling will go to the line, shooting a one-and-one. One. Uh, Hartman, not Goodling, I beg your pardon, Hartman. Hartman at the line, shooting a one-and-one. Made her first one, 45-33. And her second shot, no good. Rebound in there, though, comes down to uh, uh, Mitchell. They hand it back to Mitchell anyway. Came down to Bowersox, I believe, but then she handed it right back to Mitchell. Or not Bowersox, but uh, Miley, I guess, had got the rebound. But anyway, this Erdman with it for Bechtel. Amy gives it back for Dribovis, who gives it to uh, Erdman. Erdman working it back here for Bechtel. Amy trying to drag it inside here. Now takes it right inside with a good drop for Bots for two. It's good. Nice pass again by that uh, Amy Bechtel in there for Bots. Wow, another collision out here. I'll tell you, what a rough ball game this is turning out to be. Here's Brooke Kreiser with it. Dumping it back over here now for uh, er, uh, Erdman. Boy, some heavy collisions out here. Cal's getting brutalized by themselves. Here's a nice race to the bucket by Shana Erdman. Nice job that time of that young little lad, uh, lass in there. Good job. Here comes uh, Kelly Mitchell, and Mitchell's going to be called with a pushing off foul an offensive foul, and uh, that's going to send uh, Abby Dribovis to the line, I believe, shooting a one-and-one one or what? Let's see. No, Abby's going to check out of the game. Who's it going to be? Shane Erdman to the line, shooting the one-and-one. One. Okay. The foul was on Kelly Mitchell, her fourth. Her shot by Shayna is in and out, no good. Rebound comes down here to Crystal Snyder. She centers it back through her legs, but back there to pick it up is that Dudley. Dudley looking for two, wouldn't go. Rebound shot in there by that uh, Kelly, uh, or rather, uh, Billy Mitchell is good. 
comes Erdman trying to race inside, but she is held. And Sheena will go to the line shooting a one and one. Kelly Mitchell checking out of the ball game for Newport as Heisey checks back in. For the Buffaloes, three minutes, 35 seconds left. Here is Urban with her first of two, and it is no good. Yeah, I thought she was going to get two, but she didn't. Anyway, back with it comes Dudley, and Dudley steps on the out-of-bounds line over there. And that'll end that threat. New D will inbound the ball. Oh, the Brooke Kreiser will inbound for Upper Dolphin. For Erdman. Now Bechtel, now uh, Brooke Kreiser. Brooke looking to dump it over here and it's gonna go out of bounds. Or Bauer Sox and UD I think will have the ball. Bechtel and Kreiser check out of the ball game now as uh, Shade and uh, Daniels back in for UD. Here's Sheena looking for two more. No good. Rebound right in there to Botts, and Botts is fouled. And Brandy will go to the line this time. She'll be shooting two. Brandy at the line shooting two. She can give uh, UD its 50th point here if she gets his first one in. Uh, wow. Just wouldn't wobble home. Well, we'll try it this time. She can still give UD its 50th point. If she can plop this one in, in her customary style, let's see if she does. Well, no, missed a pair. Rebound here to Shade, and Tara's all tied up with it inside there. It's going to stay UD ball. Tara came down with it that time in some heavy traffic and got the ball tied up. Daniels will inbound it. Over here for Erdman for two more. It's good. 